ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு ஜி டெக் லெட்ஸ் டாக் அபவுட் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் ஸோ எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் வி ஹாவ் அ டெஃபினிஷன் ஃப்ரேம்ட் ஃபார் எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் அண்ட் எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் இஸ் அ ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சார்ஜ் இன் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் this charge is often carried by moving electrons in a wire let's talk about static electricity now static electricity is nothing but the build up of charges that passes quickly to another object so what is electric current Electric current is nothing but the continuous flow of charges through a conductor. You can see an electric current which is passing over here. So this is the battery from where you can see the connection has been established to the bulb. we shall now see about the static electricity objects can acquire a static electric charge through friction conduction and induction friction is nothing but in an object whose electrons are loosely held rubs against another object is said to be termed as friction So conduction is nothing but in an object with an excess of electrons touches a neutral object In terms of induction it is considered to be a neutral object that acquires a charge from a charged object close by without contact being made You can see here some examples of friction conduction and induction Let us see about electric field Electric field is nothing but it exerts force that depends on charge Electric force depends on charge surrounds charged objects positive and negative are considered to be Electric field has positive that is strong electric field and weak electric field which exerts and surrounds by some object so this is the electric field lines with positive and negative charges the green color representation is positive the yellow color representation is negative This is the friction. You can see some two objects with indication of red and blue. Red is positively charged one and blue is negatively charged one. That is nothing but stronger electron attraction and weaker electron attraction. The resulting charges are negatively charged one and positively charged one you can see the representation of negatively charged one with positive and negative ions with the indication of green and yellow whereas in terms of positively charged one you can find the positive and negative charges with the indication of green and yellow 
in between we have an attraction of so that is nothing but the electrostatic discharge where we can able to find a spark the yellow representation is indicating the air whereas the green color representation is nothing but the conductor so you can see the thing which is moved from the air to the conductor you can find some positive and negative ions over here so this one is considered to be air and this one is considered to be insulator dielectric field strength is talking about the field strength which is required to overcome the insulative properties of a substance example some dielectric field strength of air we shall see about grounding grounding is nothing but the connection to the ground which can be used as neutralization you can see here some stored fuel representation over here and this is subjected towards the earth wire so you can see the example depiction of friction we have already seen friction is nothing but in an object whose electrons are loosely held rubs against another object so here we have a consideration of two balloons rubbed on human air will become negatively charged and have an attraction that is have an attractive interaction with the hair if the air is removed the balloon spell this is an example of friction the next one is conduction we knew that conduction in an object with an excess of electrons touches a neutral object one such example has been depicted over here and there is another example which is considered to be charging a neutral object by conduction at first if you see over here a metal sphere with an excess of charge is brought near to the neutral electroscope in the next step you can see it is getting to be in contact and the electron move from the sphere to the electroscope and spread about uniformly after some time you can see the metal sphere now has less excess charge and the electroscope now has a charge so this is all about talking about the conduction now we shall see about induction so induction is the neutral object that acquires a charge from a charged object which is close by without contact being made so if we see this one at first we have two metal spheres which are mounted on the insulating stand the presence of negative charge induces the electron to move from sphere a to sphere b the two sphere system is polarized now after some time you can see sphere b is separated from sphere a using the insulating stand you can find the gap here the two spheres have opposite charges which is mentioned here so sphere a is positively charged and sphere b is negatively charged and you can find here the excess charge distributes itself uniformly over the surface of the sphere when compared to this one you can see the uniformity over here so this is all about stating induction